Hello again, this is Robert Veach here, and this is not going to be a video review. This is going to be a hack or an idea. Now, right now, you can probably hear my furnace in the background. It's kind of noisy, the inducer motor. And in the Midwest, it's been really cold. It's gotten down to minus 30 last night. And I've had my furnace fail twice in the last couple days. And I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with it. I'm changing filters. I'm changing components and still haven't quite figured it out. So um, you have a risk of bursting your pipes and there is no simple solution. I looked online for alarms that will alert you when a temperature drops in your house. Unless you have a brand new thermostat, the $300 types, um, or you want to spend $100 to $300 on a, a system that will make phone calls or set up a strobe for your neighbors to see. There's nothing portable out there to alert you that your temperature has dropped in your house when you're in your house. So I thought of it last night and I came up with a simple solution. I have a, a backup uh, thermostat, White Rogers, and it's very similar to the one that I'm using in my house. And I thought, what if you could put a Tizio alarm wired up very simply inside here that will go off whenever this demands heat. So it's very simple to use. I'm going to show you how to wire it up and give you a wiring diagram. And it literally is two solder connections and two screw connections inside the unit. And then you're done. And this is extremely valuable. Last night at se uh, actually 7.30 in the morning, my furnace went out and we were asleep. And this new idea, this thing kicked on and it woke me up. I was able to reset the computer on my furnace and get the heat going, which is what you hear right now in the background. So this is a really interesting idea. I think you're going to want to make this. Or if you're a manufacturer that manufactures thermostats, you're going to want to produce this product because it's going to be highly in demand, especially during the winter season. So I'm going to show you how this is wired up and you're going to see how it operates also. So here's my White Rogers thermostat and I'm going to open this up right here. It's just a snap fit. And if you look inside the unit, you can see I got the batteries placed in there. And you'll see right, right over here is a little Piezo unit that works from 2 to the 12 volts. And I'm going to have a link for different types you could use. This is a small one. It's just glued in place. There's a positive and a negative on there. Very simple. And what you're going to do is your normal connection for your heat is this right here, which is the W. You see it right there. It uses label W. So you usually connect this to your furnace, the W, and this one right here, which is next to it, which is the RH. Now you're not going to use the RC or the G or the Y. You're just going to use these first two right here, which is what calls for heat right here. Now it's it's very simple. You're going to take the negative of this piezo right here, and you're going to solder it to the negative of the battery. And if you don't know how to solder, you don't have a soldering gun, you could probably press fit it right in there, and that would work also. And you want to solder or wrap it around this negative right here. The positive of this little piezo, you're going to put it very simply to the RH connection. And there's a little wire screw and you're just going to put it right on there, the wire, and turn this clockwise and then it connects. The other end, which is the W, you can see I've got a red wire going across, snaking across right here, and that goes to the positive. And again, if you can't solder, you can just push that in that terminal right there. Now what this is going to do is really simple, is when this relay closes, it's normally connected to your uh, furnace. And since it's not being connected to the furnace, it's going to close, you're going to hear it click. And what it's going to do is going to act like a light switch, and it's going to close the current to this little Piezo unit. And because it's using a simple 3 volts, it's all wired in really simple, and you don't have to worry about additional power for this little Piezo unit. And if you want to, on the end of the uh, cover, I did drill a hole 
so that the sound could come out here a little easier. But it definitely woke me up at 7.30 this morning. I was in a deep sleep and I was alerted that the temperature had dropped one degree on my home. Now to give you an example of how this works, it's very simple. I'm gonna close this up right here. And I'm gonna put, right now it's showing 70 degrees. Okay, I'm gonna put the heat on. Now right now, when this thing comes on, I'm gonna raise this to simulate a, a heat call. And now you hear the piezo, the alarm going off, because it's demanding heat. And that alerts you that it needs heat. Now, how is that, how is that gonna help you in the middle of the night when your furnace goes out? Well, very simple. You put heat on there, and right now the room temperature is 70, and you drop this down to 69 or 68. And now, when your furnace is working, this thing is going to stay at 70, 71, 72, whatever your furnace is at. But when your furnace fails, this is going to slowly drop. And then when it reaches 69 degrees, which is whatever you set, this will trigger that alarm. And then that alarm will wake you up because it sends that, essentially you're calling for heat. And that little, that little piezo alarm is alerting you that it needs heat because your actual thermostat sends that and you can put this in your bedroom, which I recommend so that you can hear it when you wake up. So again, that's how it works. So I can simulate it again by just drawing heat and then you hear the alarm. Very simple to use and very effective. And you can't buy anything like this right now. I searched for many hours. So this is gonna save you a lot of money and this is the kind of hack that is really worth doing. So I hope this helps you during this cold, cold season. And I think this cold weather is here to stay in a lot of parts of the country. So you're gonna want something like this because you wanna be alerted when your furnace fails. You don't want all of your pipes freezing and you don't wanna wake up to your house being 50 degrees. This will let you know when you can get up whether it's middle of the night and you could reset your furnace. Most of the time, a power reset on your furnace will allow it to run for another given set of hours until you can solve the problem or call a technician. So I hope this helps you and please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads.